Now, in this lecture, we're going to learn how to work with a Redux Toolkit. Redux Toolkit is a standard way to write the Redux application logic. Redux Toolkit contains packages and functions that we can think are essential for building a Redux app. Redux Toolkit, built in our suggested best practices, simplifies most Redux tasks, prevents common mistakes, and makes it easier to write Redux application. Redux Toolkit makes it easier to write good Redux application and speed up development. The Redux Toolkit was originally created to help address three common concerns. Configuring a Redux store, save us from importing lots of packages to do anything useful. And the third concern is Redux requires too much boilerplate code. So Redux Toolkit will solve these common problems. So let me just create a simple example to explain how you can use Redux Toolkit in your React application. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first open my terminal. Let me just stop my development server, clear the screen and then I'm going to install the Redux Toolkit. Redux Toolkit is not built in. So you need to first install it in your React application. So I'm going to say here, npm i for install and then I'm going to say add Redux JS forward slash toolkit. Let me install this in my application. So I'm going to press enter. Now once I have this package, let me clear the screen, start the development server again. Let me close this and now I'm going to create a new folder for this Redux toolkit. Inside this Redux, I'm going to create a new folder and name it toolkit. And inside this toolkit, I'm going to create a simple example to understand how to create a Redux toolkit. I'm going to first create a new file and name this file store.js. To create a store in Redux toolkit, you need to first import the Redux.js toolkit. So to do that, you need to first simply say here import statement and in the curly braces, you need to just import the function called configure store from at the rate Redux.js toolkit. So from this package, you need to import a function called configure store. And using the store, we're going to create the Redux store. So just down here, I'm going to say here export default and then I'm going to say here configure store and in the parenthesis I'm going to pass an object and here this configure store is going to take a reducer as a parameter so I'm going to say here reducer and here you need to pass your reducer in this object for now I'm going to leave this as it is and inside the curly braces you need to pass your reducer I don't have my reducer so let me create a new reducer so let me save this file close all these unwanted files from here like this and inside this toolkit i'm going to create a new file and name it reducer.js and just out of that i'm going to create another file here inside this toolkit and name it counter.js inside this counter file i'm going to create a simple example of counter instead of writing the same code again and again in every example let me copy my previous code and specify that here now let me explain this component i'm going to first create a counter function inside this function i'm going to use the hook called use selector and use dispatch you all know how to work with both these hooks just for that inside this jsx i'm going to create two buttons first for the increment and second for the decrement and inside this parenthesis i'm going to call action so as you can notice here i'm going to call here reducer and inside this reducer, I have these functions, this increment, this decrement, and this select count. When working with Redux and Redux Toolkit, your component will be same. But the difference is, your store and your reducer will be different. You can notice here, inside the store, I use here configure store function to initialize my store. Or you can say to create a store. Just out of that, let me back to the reducer and create a new reducer inside this application. To create a reducer, you need to call a function create slice from the redux toolkit so at the top i'm going to say import from and then i'm going to specify redux toolkit and from this package you need to import create slice function and using this function i'm going to create a reducer this function allows us to easily create a reducer for the redux application let me show you how we can use this function just down here, I'm going to say export constant slice is equal to and I'm going to call here create slice. And in the parenthesis, as an object, I'm going to pass different properties. Here, you need to first specify the name for the slice. So, you need to call here a property called 
name that's upon you you can specify any name to this slice i'm going to specify here counter you may have multiple slices in your react application so you need to uniquely identify all your slices that is why you need to specify here name for your slices just out of that here i'm going to create a reducer so you have a property to this create slice which is reducers and to this reducer property you need to pass an object so to create a reducer inside this redux toolkit you need to first create here a key i'm going to say here increment and then specify a function to it so i'm going to say here function i'm going to pass here arrow function just like this and now just out of that to this parenthesis i'm going to pass state the initial value of your store you can notice here i don't have any initial value to my store i need to first specify it so as you know when we create a store we need to pass state and action parameter but when you work with redux toolkit you don't have state and action parameter so to specify value to your redux store you can access a property called initial state and you can specify value to it so i'm going to simply pass here curly braces and say here value 0 so this is the initial value of my store that's upon you you can specify any value to this initial state just for that inside this increment here i'm going to say state dot value and i'm going to specify plus equal to sign and specify one here because when i click on the button i want to increase the state by one just for that here i'm going to specify comma and create my second case inside my second case i'm going to say decrement and then i'm going to specify value to it so i'm going to pass here a function a callback function so instead of parenthesis i can simply say here state pass an arrow and inside this curly braces i can say state dot value minus equal to 1 so this will just decrease 1 from the state your reducer is now successfully created this is a combination of action creator and a reducer this is the action creator and inside it i have a reducer so now once you specify your reducer to this slice you have a property called actions and to that actions you have all these actions so to get that action you can just simply call here constant in the curly braces you can say increment decrement is equal to slice dot actions so from the actions parameter you can access both these functions and then if you want you can export your action using export keyword just for that at the end you need to export the reducer as well this reducer object so at the end just down here i'm going to say export default slice dot reducer so now you can pass this reducer to your store let me save this file back to the store and let me first import and i'm going to specify here counter reducer from in the single quote i'm going to specify reducer so once i have my reducer i can pass that to this reducer object like this so now your store is now successfully configured let me save this file back to the reducer save this file as well and back to your counter inside my counter component i just imported the reducer file and from this file i imported three functions increment decrement and select count we already created the increment and the decrement action let me create this function and i'm going to show you what is the use of this function after a few seconds let me first create it and just up here i'm going to say export count is equal to and then i'm going to specify here state and then i'm going to simply return a state let me first show you the result i'm going to say here console.log and i'm going to print here state save this file back to your index.js and let me just import counter here instead of this combine i'm going to say here counter from redux toolkit from the toolkit i need this counter component just for that let me just import my store as well get it of this specify the toolkit and my store file i'm going to get here counter reducer and inside it i have here a value let me just access it so here i'm going to say dot counter reducer when i roll the browser you can notice i'm going to have value 0 so here i'm going to say dot value so i can easily access my state value using this function so instead of this console.log i'm going to simply return 
the state value. Save this file. Back to the counter.js. Save this file as well. When I reload the browser, you can notice I'm going to have here my counter. When I click on the plus button, it will increase the counter value. When I click on the decrease button, it will decrease the counter value. Now, let me explain this component. Here, I'm going to just import the actions, the increment and decrement and pass that to the dispatch method. So, I can easily call my actions. Just for that, I'm going to use a use selector and call a state. And using this select count function, I'm going to create a property called value and specify a state to it, a reducer state. Using this function, I'm going to specify value to the property of the component. And then I'm going to access that property and specify that here inside my spawn tag. So whenever you use Redux Toolkit, you just need to update your reducer and your store. Practice with this code to understand how it works.